Rain and snow tonight, more sun in the forecast. That happens as temperatures cool. The bulk of the snow falls in the Cascades. We're talking a decent amount there and heavy enough snow that we have some mountain pass concerns. Heavy snow over Snoqualmie, Stevens, Sherman, and then it eventually works its way into Lookout tonight. Tomorrow things look a lot better. We'll see some light snow kind of lingering through the day over Lookout Pass right now. Snoqualmie looks pretty wet. Crews are doing a good job, but look at these side streets already starting to pile up there. And typically streets are one of the things that melt it the quickest. So hey, just keeping an eye out. That snow is making its way in and even some of the rain here in town. It's going to start as rain for us here in Spokane, eventually changing over to snow later on this evening. So what happens is as the cold front moves in, think of it. We're going to go this way. It's me leaning forward. So cold air up high, warm air down low, and the cold air is overrunning the warm air. So eventually, as the precipitation comes down, it pulls that cold that's overhead down to the ground, and we watch it switch over to snow here in town. Snow happens tonight. And with temperatures as warm as they were today, uh, up near 40 degrees and still on the warm side of things, basically it just soaks into the ground and everything. So what cools quickest is where the snow will stick the most. It eventually tapers off early tomorrow morning, but I think the, the main spots that are hit with the way today went are kind of going to be your car as it cools off tonight, grassy surfaces, some of those are side streets, arterials are looking pretty good. It's that kind of snow. The I don't want to say this, but it's a very March-like storm just with how much moisture we have, the warm weather preceding it, and how little snow we're going to get. So most places, less than an inch. You want more than an inch? Kind of Sandpoint, Pullman, Moscow, maybe down into Grangeville area. Uh, you might get around an inch to two in Newport still. That's really going to be about it. Then the next few days, that melt-freeze cycle continues. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s every afternoon, and then eventually falling down into the 20s each night. Saturday, another chance of snow, not looking great, but it's a chance nonetheless. But look at all that sun in the forecast. More sun, but cooler temps. It's kind of a, a worthwhile trade if you're asking me.